do you see the bank? I think they tackle chips with that. Me. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't know why I always do that. I always put my hand up for some reason. I have no idea why I do that. Anyway, I got some bolts. Uh, so we can start bolting the fenders on. My gorgeous wife helped me mock them up. I got the holes drilled. I got, I'll show the video of that, of course. And uh, I... Uh, I went with something different this time. Usually I'll just do like a 5 16 bolt and that's what I drilled out for. So I drilled them out to a 3 8 And the reason I did that is so I could allow for some room, some uh, room for error, because we know humans aren't perfect. So I drill, what I usually do when I'm doing an install is I'll drill them out to 3 8 And that way I have a little bit of room for error. If, you know, I can adjust it, I can adjust the fender. And if I don't like the way it's sitting, I can move it. So it allows for a little bit, but Instead of doing a 5 16 I went with the, um, an M8 bolt instead, uh, metric. So that's not something I usually do. Usually I just use a 5 16 but I thought it would look nicer instead of using a, a uh, washer on just a regular bolt. Because usually they don't cut the washers very straight to the bolt. And so when you put a 5 16 bolt and a 5 16 washer, there's a lot of room. The washer moves all over the place, so it's never centered. That's kind of irritating sometimes, and I just thought this would actually look better because you, you'll probably end up actually being able to see these. So I just thought this would look way cooler. I won't have to paint these or anything. Just looks like some gold bolts sticking out up there. And, you know, kind of catch your eye, kind of pleasing to the eye, and it will just look funky, you know, just machined or industrial. It'll look, you know, kind of nice and fancy. So I used that, and then I got some serrated nuts to go with it. Um, just so, you know, instead of having to use a locking washer and a flat washer, I'll just use these serrated nuts. Uh, I'll probably mock them up here right now, and then, you know, tighten them down pretty tight. And then whenever I actually go to put them on for the last time, I'll probably throw some blue Loctite on there. Um, that way it's just kind of peace of mind. I know they won't ever back off or anything like that, but, uh, I don't know. So we'll, I'll get those bolted on and then I'll show you all the finished product. So cool. I like that. Such pleasing to the eye. You know what I mean? Hey guys, I'm going to try to keep my arms down because for some reason I always put my hand up like I was saying earlier, <laughs> but I got <laughs> I got them busted on and uh, I think they look pretty good. So my wife is filming. She's sweet enough to film for me, but uh, we did a lot of work today actually on the Jeep. We did the stubby bumper, first step on that. Probably need to get a new tag because I, I bent it trying to push my truck out of the way. <laughs> um, I need to get rid of this stuff and these lights and take these mounts off. Uh, but we did the stubby bumper and we got the fenders mounted. I actually think it's changed it quite a bit. Um, and they came out really good. I'm actually, I'm really happy with how well they're fitting to the body line. And uh, actually how well they look. I mean, this was completely free other than minus the $18 for the bolts, most expensive thing. So 18 bucks and I got a set of front fenders. And uh, I think they look damn good. I like the gold that we did, the brass look, kind of that bronze uh, look with the bolts, don't have any funky looking washers anywhere. They look good and, and pleasing to the eye. And uh, I think they came out well. So these are mocked up, they're nice and tight. Tell me what y'all think. I think they look great. Um, the only thing I have left to do is cover up these holes where the fender's bolted onto. And I think what I might do, cause these are, these are inserts, or nut certs as we call them, or swells, is uh, grind them off and push them out so there's just holes here, and then maybe get some aluminum and uh, cut a piece out and maybe just bolt them through. Maybe with the same style of bolts. I'm not really sure. Give me your ideas what y'all think I should do. Uh, I just think covering that up would look a lot better. Um, but yeah, uh, I, need, I need to do some small things now. 
that I've got these on here. Uh, obviously, I have some hangover right here at the bottom. So when I get to the shop tomorrow, I'll probably just take a, a Sharpie to that, outline it down here where it runs with the body, and then just get a body saw and honestly just probably cut it cut it to the body to where it'll it'll look nice and clean and then uh i might i might just leave it i was gonna nib off this little part right here to make it look flush but i might just get paint it black i'll probably just get some spray paint and just cover it up and make it look black so you won't really see it, it won't really catch your eye that well so that's it yeah came out great guys got three front fenders and uh, a little bit of ingenuity we got them to fit. These aren't even for this Jeep. These are for a Jeep JK. And I think they look great. So, there you go. Another update on the Jeep. Alright guys, well, that's our day today. Uh, we did a lot, so thanks for uh, watching my channel. And, uh, you know, I'm really trying to find another outro other than Mr. Rogers. So, um, I'm glad of all the stuff that we did today. We still have a lot more to do, so stay tuned for much more to come. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as much as you can. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And if you haven't already subscribed, go to my YouTube. Subscribe there. Follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Instagram, um, TikTok, um, Facebook. I'm on most social medias. So if you can't find me, it should be Mad Matt's Garage, Matt with one T. Um, so find me on there. And uh, I'm glad you all watched my videos. So you all have a great night. And uh, talk to you all later.